I guess you look at that and just say, uh, it's just one of those days, really. Yeah, frustrating. Um, I think the missed opportunity was the first half. We had chances to, to see the game off, and their keepers made a few great saves. Um, told them at our time that it might be patient, it might take 80 minutes to break them down. Um, but second half, I thought we probably a half too far. Do you know what I mean? They looked fairly leggy, the lads. They've given so much effort for the stop port and that Harrogate game in the week that um, I don't think there was a lot left in the tank. But we still had a couple of opportunities. Um, and yeah, I missed I missed one really with the results that have that have uh, in, happened today. But I've just said that we've got we've got eight more opportunities to to back it up and we've got a week where we can rest up and, and get them right and look towards going to go to Bradford and, and trying to get something. It's one of those, isn't it, when you play a team down the bottom, really, an early goal is what you kind of need in those kind of games to they start to get a bit more encouragement as the, the game goes on. That's right, yeah. And um, they're, they're, um, they're, they're hard to break down, do you know what I mean? And uh, with Mills, they've got a, got a threat. But, um, yeah, we needed to score. We needed to score in the first half when we had plenty of chances. The linesman's killed us as well because Connor's well is played by their man and line by the linesman putting his flag up Connor stopped which is one for a young kid to learn from but you just put it in the net and worry about it after but um, yeah I'm frustrated with that we've had opportunities to score you know it's not like we haven't and uh, you take one of those and the game becomes a bit easier for you but I just felt the second half we lost a bit of composure and we could have played a little bit more and a little bit quicker but with the way that their legs were I think it was just just that little bit too far and frustrating but on to the next one yeah. I guess from that you have to look at it as a, as a positive don't you in the sense that you've gained a point really that's right exactly what I said in the change rooms I said with the way the results have gone it's a point in the right direction you know yeah you want to take three but if you'd have drawn Harrogate and won today you it's the same thing you're in the same place do you know what I mean we've had Stockport that are going really well they've had a good win again today and we've had Harrogate who are second in the league and it's taken a massive effort from everybody to get us through those two games and for the third one today we were good for a half we had chances and then we just I didn't have enough you know at the end to, to just get us over the line and you're just hoping for a little bit of quality from somebody that, that gets you that goal but uh, but it wasn't to be today but uh, another clean sheet is another positive you know and uh, and we look forward to the next eight challenges yeah, obviously it's bad for next up isn't it for you uh, what you like, looking forward to that one yeah they've got a lot of games to, to play I know that but uh, they're They've been doing okay, you know, a bit of a mixed bag season, but uh, we expect it to be tough, never easy going there. Um, but we're in a quite a good place, you know, at the moment. We're, we're doing okay, we're six unbeaten, and uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of the challenges, and I think the lads are up for that too. Yeah. Another clean sheet as well again today, yeah, so that's, that's another positive to come from it. Yeah, important that you follow one up with another, and that makes you hard to beat. You don't lose a game if you don't concede, you know. But um, yeah, we'll need a few more of them if we're gonna if we're gonna get into those playoffs. We're gonna need a few more clean sheets, and we're gonna need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Yeah, uh, Steve Thomason uh, back back here today. Is he uh, closing in on coming back? Then? Yeah, he's done a little bit of fitness work this morning before the game. Um, yeah, we'll have a look to see how he is in training this week. We'll only feed him back in very lightly. We don't want to smash him straight away. But uh, yeah, I think he's lost a stone, so he, he needs to put a bit of that on before he. Uh, he can do anything, but uh, yeah, he's. Uh, it'll be good to get him back involved as well. What's the latest on Mets as well? Is it? Um... Yeah, Mets had a scan Thursday. That's him done for the season. Um, he's uh, grade two medial, and he's uh, got a swollen ACL as well, which is, which is good. It's still attached, but it's not good because it's eight plus weeks, and we haven't got that time. So, so that's him done. Very frustrating. We had a good chat on, on Thursday night, and. He's devastated, you know what I mean? He feels like he's got a bit of unfinished business here with the way that the se his both seasons have gone. Um, but he's fully behind the lads and he's he's a big character and I've told him that I need him about the changing rooms and stuff because he'll be the one that can drive them on. 